and welcome again to AA Home Gardening. This just came through the post. So I'm going to do a video if what I think it is what I was expecting. So let's open it together and see what's the latest addition to my tropical plants. <music> expecting something nice of all the so many things i'm hoping i'm doing the video on the right surprise so it's mine and let's see what's in there i'm super excited let's open it together and see what's in there it's quite light so i'm actually wondering if it's the right thing so let's see what's in there wow um, I think that's the way it should be open. Let's try this way. It's so, so light. I'm hoping it's the right thing. And I hope it's alive. I've ordered it now for almost whew, going three weeks. I've waited and I've waited and I've waited. Just delivered today. So hopefully it's alive. So let's see what's in there. Nothing. Uh, it's not coming out easy. They just want me to wait and wait. Let's see. Okay. I can... So tiny. Is it the right thing? Mm. There's dry leaves everywhere. That's not a good sign, is it? Oh no, is it dead? Oh no, that's not good, is it? That's definitely not good. It doesn't seem like it came alive at all. And there's no pot. It didn't even say. Oh no, seriously. Seriously? This is it? This is supposed to be my... Barbados cherry? Are they joking? Are they literally joking? This thing. <sighs> I'm so upset now. It didn't even say no pot, no nothing. What's going on there? It's all dead. Anyhow, that's Jam Love by Live Plants through the post. Sometimes we're successful, sometimes we're not. I've repotted my Barbados cherries. Wow, well, five days now. And you can see leaves are coming through. So it's not dead. It's arrived in a sorry state. But I put it up into a nice rich compass. Put it near the grow light. And leaves are coming true. That's lovely. So it seems I'll be having Barbados cherries after all. So that's my Barbados cherries. <laughs> Getting on little leaves since I repotted it five days ago. And that's beautiful to see that it's not dead. Because I did pay a lot of money for this little cutting. So I'm glad it bounced back. So that's my Barbados cherry repotted. Barbados cherry struggling on to survive. Still having some aphids issues. You probably can see a little aphid there. But so I've been spraying it with like hydrogen peroxide and things like that. So it's struggling on. You know, when I opened the box, it was like 95% dead. All the leaves were dry, dropping off. Then I tried to repot it and treat it. But because it wasn't the LT um, cutting from the beginning, we didn't root properly or anything. It's uh, been a struggle, but it's coming on beautifully. So you can see nice new shoots coming out. So hopefully, I just need to continue to treat these aphids problem. So hopefully in a couple months, I should have a nice LT Barbados cherry growing on here in the UK. So it has survived, guys. Here it is. Nice bar Barbados cherries. If any of you have grown any of these tropical cherries in cold climate, Please comment below 
what can I do to make sure it's surviving our cold climate? So until next time, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And this is my beautiful Barbados cherry. Take care now. Bye-bye. Like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell.